Yeah, that Patients with Rothman Thompson syndrome yeah, suffer a severe skin rash, sparse hair, abnormal bones and missing thumbs, gastrointestinal problems, cataracts, and small stature. Some also have a higher chance of developing a type of malignant bone cancer called osteosarcoma. Many doctors may not even have heard of Rothman Thompson syndrome. Peter and Banu Chata visited about 30 doctors over two years trying to find out what was wrong with their daughter, Rhea. And we just sort of played by each day and, and didn't know about, you know, why she had the problem with the skin. Um, she lost all her hair. Um, she couldn't walk. She didn't crawl. She didn't sort of sit. Even like five-month-old babies can sort of sit. She could not even do that. After Rhea was finally diagnosed, a search on the Internet led her parents to Dr. Lisa Wong at Baylor College of Medicine. We found that this, at last, there was a center of excellence that yeah. somebody knew about RTS. We had no clue what we're looking for, what the future holds for her, uh, you know, her lifespan, uh, basically whether she's going to be independent or not. We, we had no clue. And that's what we learned when we came here last time and this time, which was a great relief that, yes, she can do it. One of Dr. Wong's biggest concerns is the link between Rothman Thompson syndrome and osteosarcoma. She hopes that studying Rothman Thompson syndrome will offer clues about the causes of bone cancer, too. Osteosarcoma is a highly aggressive malignant bone tumor. And currently, um, while, the, while we have good treatment for it, there's, there's, there's still a lot of patients who do not survive their cancer. Um, and therefore, it, uh, therefore, continued research into the causes and treatment of osteosarcoma uh, is very important. From Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, 